Hello, my name is Kieran Dale, and in this Show Me Do, I'm going to show you how you can download and install the uh, WX Python library, which enables you to easily and quickly program great looking graphical user interfaces. So we start off at www.wxpython.org, that's the WX Python home site, and find ourselves on this page, get it while it's hot. The quickest way um, to access the window, Windows binaries is to go to the download section on the bottom left and to click on binaries. So we find ourselves here with four options. Um, we've got Python 2.3 or 2.4 in ANSI or Unicode. I have Python 2.4 installed and I would recommend installing if you don't have it installed. Um, because it's, uh, it has some upgrades on Python 2.3. Um, there's a, uh, to paraphrase the advice given here, uh, if you don't know that you need uh, the Unicode version, then the ANSI version will probably do you fine, and I have certainly found that to be the case. So I'm going to left click on the Win32 ANSI. This takes me to some uh, mirror sites to download from. I'm going to choose the uh, UK option, University of Kent, because I'm in the UK. So I left click on the download there. And it should shortly begin. There we go. It gives me the option to save it to disk, which I will do. Now the downloads are complete. I'm using Python. So here we have it. If I double left click on this uh, WX Python executable and say yes, I want to download it, I get into the setup wizard. I left click on next, I accept the license agreement. It's generally best to go with all the defaults for the next few options. Um, full installation, yes. Here it is installing in uh, the site packages directory of Python 2.4. So we'll click finish on this. Minimize. And here it is compiling the packages. And it sends us a little text uh, readme, which I would suggest you do. I have done before. And that should have installed um, WX Python on our system. We're not finished yet because there's one more thing we need um, if we're to uh, really learn how to use WX Python. I thoroughly recommend downloading the, uh, the docs and demos. They do contain a fantastic WX Python demo program, um, which uh, I will hopefully be uh, demonstrating later on in the series. So we left click on that, follow the same course, we save it to disk. it is and we will le double left click on that follow the same pattern we'll accept all the terms it will stick it in its own directory So this is uh, this uh, docs and demos package has uh, some. It's very comprehensive, and uh, as I said, I'll show you in a second. It has this wonderful um, demo package, which enables you to very very quickly come to terms with the uh, all WX Python has to offer. So here we go. It's We 
should be done. There we go. Now I'm going to minimize once again. We have some text to read. It's always worth doing that. To make sure that it's come down, I will um, try to find it, which uh, it should be. Where are you? There we go. WX Python docs. And if we run the demo, fingers crossed. This is all written in WX Python, so we'll know whether it's all working. Here we get our demo, and we can we can show a directory dialog just to prove it. Okay, so there we have it on the system, WX Python.